What the font, man? If you're using Bleeding Cowboy or Papyrus or Comic Sans, you're fired. Just kidding, I'm not Donald Trump. But I wanted to make a quick video to talk to you guys about today is what the font. What font should you be using for your design projects? I recently had somebody comment in on the channel and send me a message asking me about making a video specifically about fonts. So today's video is about fonts, what fonts you should use in your design projects, on your websites, on your graphics projects, any of that stuff, even motion design. And so I wanted to make a video about that today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. I'm Adrian Boisel, CEO and founder of Adrian Graphics and Marketing. So grateful to be back for another video. Today's video is going to be pretty fun because we're going to talk about fonts. Fonts is something that's very important as a graphic designer that you need to be able to master because it sets the mood and it sets the tone for what your design projects are going to look like and having them match up with the brand, with the core values, with the identity of that business. No matter what project you're working on, you need to have a font that matches that. And if you have specific fonts that you use for, for your brand, you want to stick to it. One of the common mistakes that I see people do with fonts is they use way too many fonts on one design. Anything more than two and you're just cluttering it up and you're going to have a poor looking, poor quality design. So make sure you stick with the maximum of two fonts on whatever design that you're doing just to keep it simple, keep it clean and keep it congruent. So I'm going to talk about the top 10 fonts today. I'm going to give you 10 great fonts that you can use in any of your designs. And then at the end of the video, I'll have a question for you. So the first one is Helvetica Now. This font has actually been reinvented and it's the first reinvention since it was created 35 years ago. I love this font. The traditional Helvetica font is awesome. You can't go wrong with using that one. It's a very clean, minimalistic, simple font. And Helvetica Now has an even wider range of options, styles, and orientations. So definitely that's a big one. That's number one. Number two, is News Sans. I love this font and it has over 90 different styles. It's a very clean, minimalist font. You can use it on your website. You can use it in your graphics projects. It's a very simple and easy to recognize font. Uh, it's one of my favorite styles and it's very rounded. That's what I like about it. I like being able to have some selections of rounded fonts versus more squared off fonts. So this is a really, really fun one. And just keep in mind, these fonts that I'm giving you are fonts that I personally like and that I'm personally using. These aren't the most popular fonts that are being used out there today, but these are fonts that I've personally chosen that I think are gonna be really great fonts for 2020 and for 2021, okay? Now, number three is Gilroy font. You may have never even heard of Gilroy font, but Gilroy font is a great one. It's a modern sans font and it has over 20 different weights. It's a really great style. I love the bubbliness of it. I love the different options of it. And this is something that I would encourage you to use in your designs. If this is kind of fits you with your mood and your style, just a really good font to use, Gilroy font. And our next font, number four, is DIN Next. That's D-I-N Next. This is a timeless font. This font has actually been around for over a hundred years. And so DIN Next is kind of the next version, the next iteration, the next clean version of this font. It's a very simple one. I've used this in many of my designs. And what I like about it, it also has a wide range of font uses in the family. Our number five font is Doyle. I like the name of this font. I think it's super cool, but it's actually bubbly and round. It has a lot of character and it's a serif type font. And it's got a mixture of Cooper and ITC American typewriter. So if you're gonna do something more traditional, more old school, kind of timeless and, and bubbly and round, this is a really good font to use. Uh, I would use this on kind of a more of like maybe a furniture company or something more organic and kind of local and homegrown. It's a very good font for that. All right, our next font and number six is Harriet. This is a serif font and it's actually a reimagined version of one of my favorite fonts ever. One of the fonts I probably should have put on this list and that's Baskerville. It has two optical sizes and a huge range of weights. So this gives you a lot of very variations, a lot of very options, thin to thick, wide to italicized, all kinds of really cool options for you. That's a really good font that you should check out. Now, number seven, and this is one that you've probably seen many, many times, especially if you've seen any of my videos, and that's Avenir Next. Avenir Next, I think, has probably one of the widest ranges of font uses. It's got a lot of different options for you, and it's what we use in all of our thumbnails. And the cool part that I found out when I was researching this font is it was actually created by a guy named Adrian, Adrian Frutiger. 
and he created this font with a huge range of styles, tons and tons of options, condensed versus narrow versus wide versus thick. So all the different variations of boldness. So I love this font personally for a lot of the designs that I do, something I'm gonna be using more and more of on the channel artwork that I do on all the thumbnails and even on some of my training stuff on the backside of my course. And so I love Avenir. I think this is a really good font. And so that pushes me to my number one, not number one, but number eight font that is my number one all-time favorite font, and that's Montserrat. Montserrat is actually inspired by an Argentinian designer, and that Argentinian designer saw signage, they saw posters all around the country, and it was basically in their neighborhoods, and they decided to make a font that resembled that. And so this is my favorite font. It was actually created in 2011, so it's been around about nine years. It's a really great font. It has a lot of different ranges as well. That's why I, I created this list today because I wanted to give you fonts that had a large range of different options. And so Montserrat has Montserrat Black and Montserrat Bold and Montserrat Regular and Book. There's a huge range and there's even Montserrat Alternatives. We don't have time to talk about all those today, but Montserrat is a really great font. It's my number one font, but I put it as number eight here today because it's my lucky number. So I wanted to give that some, some credibility there. And then I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to find a font that was more hand-drawn and that's the Historia font. It's urban, it's vintage, and it's a hand-written font. And it's a really neat font. You can use it on posters, you can use it for concerts, for music stuff. Uh, it's really got a gritty, organic, it's kind of rough looking, you'll see. We'll put a, a screenshot of it. Uh, here in the video, but it's a really neat font, something you can give yourself, give your designs a more of an authentic hand-drawn look, and that's why I, I chose that one as number nine. Now, number 10, and this is a big one, you've probably heard of this, if you're a designer and you haven't, you've probably been living under a rock, but it's Futura. You may not know this, but Futura was created in 1927. We're coming up to 100 years since Futura has been around. It's a sans serif font, it's a really great font, and it's very commonly used by big companies. You'll see companies like Volkswagen, companies like Ikea, and even Domino's Pizza use it as their font. So it's a really timeless font. You can't go wrong with it. There's tons of variations to that one as well. It's one of my favorites as well on the top 10 list. So that's it. What I wanna know from you guys is what is your favorite font? It doesn't have to be a font on this list. If it's one of those fonts, let me know, drop it in the comments. And if you have a font that you think should have been in this video instead, let me know what that is. I wanna know about new fonts. Fonts are a really critical part of graphic design, something I really love and really enjoy. Um, typography, I don't personally do typography like hand drawing or any creating of fonts. Maybe down further in my career, I'll do that. But if you're a typography person, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think is the number one font? What is your favorite font? So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.